give you a pound. Done. Gently does it. There you go. Careful. Hey, bud. How much for the boat? Oh, I'm sorry, I just sold it to this young gent. Oh, yeah? Tell me what you paid, and I'll give you a double. Double? Thanks. <laughs> but it's not for sale. Look, kid, I'm trying to help you out. I don't think you realize this, but you're about to walk into a whole mess of danger. What kind of danger? I'm warning you. Get rid of the boat and get out where you still can. These people do not play nice. What people? Wonderful. Oh, it's just wonderful. Don't bother wrapping it. I'll, I'll take it as is. Does anybody object if I pay by check? If you want to buy it, you'll have to talk to the kid. I see. Well, let the kid name his price. Name his price? Oh, Ten years I've been flogging bric-a-brac and I missed naming a price by one bleating minute. I'm sorry. I already explained to the other gentleman. American he was. All hair oil and no socks. It's not for sale. Then let me appeal to your better nature. I have recently acquired Marlin Spike Hall, and this ship, as I'm sure you're aware, was once part of the estate of the late sea captain. The family fell upon hard times, lost everything. They've been living in a cloud of bad luck ever since. We are talking generations of drinking and irrational behavior. I'm sorry, but as I told you before, it's not for sale. Good day to you, sir. That young man, what's his name? Him? Everybody knows him. That's Tintin. What is it about this ship? Why has it attracted so much attention? one place that could have the answer. Come on, Snowy. Here it is. Sir Francis Haddock of Marlin Spike Hall. The last captain of the ill-fated Unicorn. The ship set sail from Barbados in 1676 on one of the most ruinous voyages in maritime history. The ship never reached destination, attacked by pirates, all hands lost except for one survivor. When Sir Francis was rescued and returned home, he was convinced his name had been cursed. The Unicorn's manifest stated that it was carrying a cargo of rum and tobacco bound for Europe, but it was long claimed the ship was carrying a secret cargo. Oh. What was the ship carrying, Snow? Mm. Historians have tried and failed to discover what happened on that fatal voyage. But Sir Francis's last words... Only a true haddock will discover the secret of the unicorn.
Just the necessities, of course. The lifeboats. Watch yourself. The boss says he's a handful. 